can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. She is blessed and praised. Well, hello, guys. Hey, Twister Girl. Welcome back. Depending on my mood and how I feel will determine if you see the rest of this filming or the pro part, the part before and now, because it sucked, in my opinion. Like, watch, they suck today. My shirt is drenching wet. Um... My hair ended okay, but that's because I improvised and I'm just like, anywho, let me tell you, let me just show y'all the tea right quick. This is the tea, hair loss, hair shedding. And guess what? This is, this is breakage. I'm going to go and tell you that now. This is just pure breakage. And let me tell you what happened. All right. So I call myself doing a comparison between this brush. Okay. This one. This is the Evolve. It's meant to resemble or replica, replicate the denim brush, just a cheaper version. But um, based on what I see, it's the same thing. And when I say cheaper, I don't mean cheaper in quality because this is a pretty sturdy brush. It's just that this brand was able to make it more affordable. And I think it's only like five, six dollars in Walmart. And like I said, it's a pretty sturdy brush, pretty good one um just hard it's really hard like really hard and you guys already heard me and seen me use this is the carico this is also in walmart this is 10 bucks and this is pretty good it's pretty wide um i would say this is probably more so for somebody who has more hair which it does good on me but it's very wide and big and i really don't need all that so it just helps me get done pretty quickly but it's big it's really big this is Evolve's brush as well. I got this from a beauty supply store for only $3.50. And because it's smaller, um, I'm able to have a little more control and actually take care of my thin hair. And this one works pretty good. Out of all of them I tried, this one broke hair the least. Then here's this bad boy, which I've been eyeballing. I've been seeing. I see a lot of naturals use this. And I'm thinking, okay, I should be able to use it too. But honey... This one took out the most hair between this one and this one, but definitely this one. This one took out the most. And I'm assuming because it doesn't have the flexibility to actually, you know, actually detangle and more so just pull your hair into submission. So it's not really detangling, it's just forcing your hair to do right. And that's caused breakage. This is how I got this because before I started, um, and this was doing pre poo, so it's like I. It just kept breaking, breaking, breaking after that. So I'm kind of frustrated and annoyed. But anywho, so products used today. I used my African Black Soap Shampoo. Pretty good, pretty decent. Scalp feeling nice and good. I used my conditioner that I made myself. Pretty good. No complaints there. I attempt to use um, the product that I showed you guys would be like my fenugreek mask. It didn't smell right. And I thought I was putting enough preservative in there, enough vitamin E, but I'm assuming I did not. So I actually had to go and get the one, um, just a straight fenugreek paste out of the refrigerator. And that one turned out to be just fine and just okay. It didn't smell. It was a little sour, but fenugreek smells sour when you deal with it. But it, it didn't stink like the other one just flat out stinks. So I'll probably be throwing that away. Um, leave-in. I call myself creating a leave-in. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I said, I got two ideas. And the first one is just a bust. Like I did agave, I did um, aloe vera gel, um, my daily oil, and fenugreek water. And it's a bust. Like it didn't do right. It was a little watery and it just, it gave me a little slip, but it wasn't beneficial to completely making sure my hair was nice and detangled because I need my leave-in to do the hard work for me and that did not. So, but I did take, um, I made a mixture of the aloe vera gel that I had, the one that doesn't give whole but gives some nice curls and I mix it with some moringa oil and this is what it looks like. This creates a great texture and consistency like i know at this point the more oil i add to it the less 
hole and crunch it would give me but it made my curls and my definition amazing and i'm like okay that's all i need i don't need you to be hard because i'm kind of walking away from gels per se like i don't need it and i i'm kind of to a point where i don't even want it anymore so that's why i met with hair gel so i end up getting my Ty Lee why he leave-in which is bomb.com but the bottle the bottle got on my nerves so i changed it and i mixed it with a little bit of water and i put it in a container like this and it was awesome and i was able just to mist it around i said okay it's cool and i took the other part and put more water in there as well so and i changed the container so that's that i can't deal with a container like at first it was working but the more slip and stuff you have on your hand the less it's gonna work and I wanted to end with putting this on my scalp. This is my daily oil, but I think I'll wait because I'm frustrated and aggravated and I don't want to just be rushing through. I want to take my time. And um, also, before I put in the gel, the Marengo oil and the aloe vera gel mix, I use my daily butter. And as you can see, I've been really digging in here like a whole lot. And thus, we have moisture and we have shine. And it's deep deep rooted as you can see it's on my forehead too like look at that but anywho so and then i pin them up to scratch them and i probably keep them like that for the remainder of the day and i'm just gonna let them hang so you guys can see i think what was so frustrating too because i did my braids on dry hair and i'm seeing that i get frustrated with the wetness and stuff on my hair so it kind of bothers me a little bit and it kind of makes me say oh i want to hurry up and then i start making big chunky pieces but I think this time, even with the frustration, I was able to make them nice and even, as you can see. And again, I probably used the twist or my silk satin um, hair pieces to scratch these out so they can dry. Or maybe I'll let them hang. I don't know yet, y'all. Like, I'm just so frustrated. I don't know what the word to do. But this is the real life of natural hair. You win some, you lose some. But at the end of the day, you live to fight another hair piece. I don't know. That sounded not right when I was saying it. But anywho, so um, going forward, I have a leave-in in mind. I want to try. It's a store-bought one, and I was trying to see if I could make up something myself. But a leave-in is hard. That's pretty tough business. So I think for now on, when I'm testing and trying leave-ins, like I'm just gonna be like, they tried. They get an A for effort because it's hard to make that. Mm, like you say, okay, this is it. This is it. And one thing I'm learning too, I'm making a whole lot of DIY and I'm not using it that fast. And because like I said, I think in my heart is telling me to go ahead and throw away the fenugreek mask. I think it's ruined. Like even though when I, I pumped it a little bit and then I smelled it again, it didn't smell bad. But it's just like I don't want to take that risk and lose hair. But definitely you won't see me grab these like that anymore. You will not see these like that at all like i'm going back to my fingers and my wide tooth comb that's all i need to make sure that i don't damage and break my hair and i'm gonna wear this out and i'm gonna let this dry and later on tonight i would do my daily oil and just put it on my scalp in between my splits and pieces and thanks to my daughter they should be nice and even but yeah so you may see wash day you may not if you see this video before you actually see the others then you understand that okay it wasn't all that bad she was just very very stressful but yeah i was stressful all right but yeah i'll leave it alone all right so i love you guys god bless take care bye